for life, health, and strength. God, we thank you that you have shown much mercy and much grace to yes, us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not only today, but throughout our entire, entire lives, God. Mm -hmm. You've been there even when we didn't see you, when we didn't yes. feel you. God, even when we weren't interested in you. Mm -hmm. God, you were there. and You brought us, Lord, to you through salvation in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And God, we thank you for this day, God. Mm -hmm. We thank you for this time of learning, of fellowship, oh God. We thank you for our bishop, God, who studies so hard to impart the word of truth, rightly dividing the word of truth. God, to equip us in these last and evil days that we might stand with much power, much boldness, proclaiming what is right, what is true. God, what is what your Bible says. So God, we thank you right now. God, we ask that you have your way tonight. God, let your Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide in each of us. Let our bishop give him power, give him strength, anointing. God, in the name of Jesus, yes. we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. God bless. We're grateful to God once again for his keeping power and allowing us together one more time for the purpose of study out of his holy word. Uh, we're still in the... Uh, book of Acts, uh, Acts of Apostles, uh, Acts chapter 5. Yeah. We've yeah. been in uh, uh, chapter 5 now for quite a while. Yeah. And we're grateful for those of you who join us each week. Yeah. <coughs> and it's yeah. my prayer that 
that you are being blessed through this teaching. We're kind of walking through it uh, verse by verse and trying to make it live and come alive as we do some word study and to, as I would say, look under the text, amen, to see what it is God is saying. Uh, I'm going to read just a, a, a several verses and then we'll uh, get to work here, man. Out of the, let me see, the um, 29th verse, um, 28th verse, 28th verse of the 5th chapter. Did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name? Talking about the name of Jesus. And look, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine instead to bring this man's blood on us. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Uh, Pay strict attention to obey God. Amen. Verse 30, the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Strong language, isn't it? Amen. Uh, Notice the writer here did not sugarcoat, uh, water down the the words here, but says that whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 31, him God has exalted to his right hand to be prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. In verse 32, and we are his witnesses to these things, and so also is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Again, uh, in verse 29, we ought to obey God yeah. rather than men. And then in verse 32, it, it, we find these words again, those who obey him. Uh, those, the word obey jumps out very strong. This section, uh, verses um, 26 through 42 actually, uh, focuses on the second persecution of the church, but it uh, lifts and brings out the fact of why we should remain loyal uh, in this, uh, in our beliefs. Believers must be loyal. And so the uh, song that was sung in the beginning uh, tonight, uh, what is it, what was the words again? Where he leads me, I will follow. And I wonder if we take time sometime to think what that means. And I mean going wherever he leads. Amen. Uh, Remain loyal. They must obey God. The present passage is forceful in driving the point home to the human heart. Amen. At least five things here. The disciples were re-arrested. They had been arrested first, put in prison, but they were rearrested, put back in prison for their beliefs and for the preaching and teaching of the gospel in verses 26 through 29. The second thing is the first reason to remain loyal, uh, God has raised up and exalted Christ. That's reason number one for remaining loyal, verses 30 and 31. Second reason to remain loyal, God has made us witnesses. Amen, Uh, verse 32. Third reason to remain loyal, God has uh, 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 a will that must be done. Amen. Verses 32 through 40. The fourth reason to remain loyal, God is able to deliver through hardship. My God, my God. Verses 41 through 42. But the section also deals with persecution. It talks about loyalty 
but it talks about persecution. Every disciple, these disciples were, first they were arrested without violence because the officers feared the reaction of the crowd. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes. Three charges were brought against them. They had, they had broken the Pacific law that the name and resurrection of Jesus Christ was not to be preached. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Not to be preached. That was a Pacific law yeah. in Acts chapter 4 verse 18. Right. Amen. Believers are sometimes forbidden to speak for the Lord. And that's, you can find that in some places in the world right today. Um, by governments, by businesses, uh, fellow workers in schools and institutions, right. and even by your neighbors, not to speak or mention your faith. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And in some ways it seems that we are falling back into that time period. Right. This is in direct conflict with the Lord's command. We are command to speak in his name. Second thing, they were thought to have taught a false doctrine. Mm -hmm. A doctrine that misled and stirred up people. Amen. The third thing, they were thought to have threatened insurrection. Interesting word in it, insurrection. To have falsely accused the government of injustice and murder. Amen. Acts chapter 4, verses 10 through 12. I'm throwing out a lot of scripture here. Amen. The leaders feared they would lose control of the people. That rises a lot. Amen. In other words, their their support and loyalty. Amen. People wanted the loyalty. They wanted the support. And they saw the people giving their support to this person called the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They they knew full well their position and livelihood was at stake. And and there's still people who feel that, feel threatened by your faith because they see you getting stronger. And when you get stronger, they lose control over you, over the believer. Isn't that right? Come on now. Amen. Nope. How the truth matters little, if any, to the leaders here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. Uh, that sounds like today. Yeah. I said, note how the truth matters little, if any, to the leaders. Right. And we're living in a time period where truth matters little to leaders, yeah. political, particularly in the political arena. They had killed Jesus. Yeah. Fully accepting responsibility of death before Pilate. Yeah. What they needed was to confess their guilt and repent right. of their sin just as the people were doing. Yeah. Yeah. But they also must note the striking response of the disciples. Uh-huh. They must be loyal to God. Yeah. That's right. Yes, they must obey God and not man. Yeah. Now the second thing I want you to notice here in this section, uh, verses 30 and 31, Jesus Christ, the work of Jesus, the disciples must be loyal. Remember I said this section is really about remaining loyal and being loyal. And, yeah. and loyalty is dying today yeah. Yeah. in the church. Yeah. We don't, most of them, we probably don't even know what loyalty means. Oh, right. Amen. He, he said they, he must be, he must obey God yeah. because God has raised up and exalted Christ. Yeah, yeah. God had three purposes for raising Christ. Yeah. Three purposes. Catch this. Three purposes for raising Christ. Right. Number one, to make him prince and a savior. Yeah. Yeah. I just read that. Amen. Yeah. God raised him up to be prince and a savior. Verse 31, I just read it. God has exalted amen, him to his right hand to be prince and a savior. To give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of their sins. The second reason God's uh, purpose was to give repentance. 
Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Give repentance. And the third reason was to give forgiveness of our sins. I just broke down that, that 31st verse. Amen. And that 31st verse will preach and it'll teach. Three points there. Come on now. Three points. To make him a prince and a savior. To give repentance and to give forgiveness. That's three points of the sermon. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. I, I think I said something, Rachel. Amen. Now let's break down prince. 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 He said, he, 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 amen. He raised him up raised to be a prince. Yeah. The word is archagon. Archagon. It means author. Author. Like a writer. Author. Right. Amen. It means originator. Yeah. He's an originator. Oh, he's the source. He's the leader. He's a pioneer, the beginning and the finisher. Somebody say amen there. That's what a prince is. And, uh, Jesus Christ is the prince of life. I said something there. In other words, he's the author of life. He's the originator of life. He's the source of life. He's a leader of life. He's a pioneer of life. He's the beginner of life. He's the finisher of life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And he is of, he's the salvation of everything. Yeah. Amen. Where? Amen. He's a, he, he, amen. But, but it's also, this word also is translated captain or leader. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. It notes the force of the point Jesus is both the giver and the savior of life. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm, 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 yeah. I, this is good stuff. Yeah. Somebody say this is good. This is good. Yeah. Amen. He, he, he exalted him to be prince yeah. and savior. Yeah. Now let's break down savior. Savior is soteria means a deliverer. Yeah. The difference between a prince yes. who the source, yes. the pioneer, amen, the, uh, the author, the originator, he also is a deliverer yes. and a preserver. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. This has the idea of a deliverer or a savior who snatches yes. a person from some ter terrible disaster. Yes. That is going to end in their perishing. Yeah. He is a savior. Amen. For Jesus Christ is said to be the savior. Yeah. In Luke chapter 2 verse 11 says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior, which is Christ the Lord. But a text, amen, uh, that I read earlier, for in him God has exalted to be with the right hand, to the right hand, to be a prince and a savior yeah, yeah. for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of their sins. Right. Help me somebody. Right. Amen. I kind of like this. And then in Second Titus chapter 1 and 10, but it is now made manifest by the appearing of our savior, Jesus Christ, who has abolished death right. and has brought life and immortality the light through the gospel. Yeah. And then Titus 3 and 6, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. Yeah, yeah. That's good news. Right, and let me give you one more. 2 Peter 3 18, but grow in grace yeah. and in the knowledge of our Lord, amen, and save Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. God, God, God. But the second thing, God is said to be a savior. Yeah. Amen. Luke 1, 47. And my spirit has rejoiced in God, my savior. Yeah. Amen. That's good yeah. news. Yeah. And then first, amen, Timothy 3, uh, 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by commandment of God, our savior and Lord Jesus Christ, which is our hope. And then Titus 1 and 3, but has in due time manifested his word through preaching, yeah. which is committed unto me according to the command of God, our Savior. Yeah, yeah. But then in verse 32, I'm doing a word study here. In verse 32, it introduces something else. And we are his witnesses. Yeah. 
talking about us now. Amen. We are his witnesses to these things. Witnesses. The disciples must be loyal, must be, must obey God. Amen. Uh, because God has made us a witness of these things. A witness of these things. Amen. Rematon or, 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 or saying. What things, what sayings, the things just stated. Prince, Savior. Come on now. The things, the believer is a witness that Jesus Christ is the Prince and the Savior. Now anybody can say that. We sometimes, I don't know what to witness about. You ought to be able to say he's a Prince and a Savior. Come on now. That's easy to learn. You learn that now. You can go out on the street corner and tell somebody he's a prince. Amen. Then they ask, what's a prince? He's the source of life. He's the author of life. He's the finish of life. He's the originator of life. And then if they ask, he's a savior. What is a savior? He's the rescuer. Say amen. The only person who accepts repentance and can forgive sin is a savior. Yeah. Anybody can witness about that. Yeah. Say amen. amen. You don't need a college education to do that. Matter of fact, you don't even be able to read to do that. Amen. Say amen. amen. The Holy Spirit has also said to be witnesses yeah. to these things. The Holy Spirit witnesses to Christ by giving supernatural power to the disciples to the righteously and to proclaim Christ. Yeah, yeah. Say amen. 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 John 15 verses uh, 26 and 27. But when the comforter yeah. is come. Whom I will send, amen, unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceeded from the Father. He shall do what? Testify of me. And you shall what? Bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. Amen. The Holy Spirit bear witnesses to Christ, but the Holy Spirit witnesses to Christ by convicting sin and righteousness and judgment. Yeah, yeah. Say amen there. Yeah. And also the Holy Spirit witness of Christ by working signs, wonders, and miracles through the believer. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. In Second Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3 and 4, how shall we escape if we neglect so great, so great a salvation? which at first began to be spoken by the Lord and confirmed on us by them that heard him. God also bound them what witnesses, both with signs and wonders, with divers, miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. But something else of importance here, the Holy Spirit is given to them that obey him. Praise the Lord. Amen. His wonderful presence and powerful guidance and care, purpose, and mission can become yeah. anyone's, anyone who will obey him. Yeah. That's all right. One found word. Obedience. Yeah. Yeah. Obedience. Obedience. Yeah. Obedience. Yeah. Obedience. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is given to them that what? Obey yeah. him. Yeah. If you don't obey him, you'll never receive the Holy Ghost. Mm, note how the word obedience is used instead of believe. Yeah. To believe is to obey. Come on now. Yeah. They're one and the same. If a person believes, he obeys. Yeah. Yeah. In John 5, 4 and 50, Jesus said unto him, go that way. Your son believes, and the man believed the word that Jesus spoke unto him, and he went his way. Yeah, yeah. To believe is to yeah, obey. Yeah. Come on, help me here. Yeah. Obedience, obedience. The disciples must be loyal. He must obey God because God has a will yeah. 
that must be done. Say amen. God has a plan and a will to be done on earth and his providence and power works in all out to see that is done. This is the point of the story of these verses. His will must be executed. The disciples had just been witnessing to the will of God and for the word. God's will was rejected and opposed by the men of that day. But notice here, both the evil and the religious leaders were guilty of not, amen, doing the will of God. But it cut to the heart. Say amen. It cut to the heart. That is, hearts were sewn in two, into two parts, through and through. The idea is they were cut to the heart. And the word will cut to the heart. Not with uh, a conviction, but with anger. They were angry, cut to the heart. Yeah. Wrath, rage, and reaction against the apostles. And the Bible said they took counsel. Yeah. They took counsel. That is, they were they were they were mind in the mind. They were intending. They were set on killing the disciples. Yeah. Say amen. amen. But God's will is recognized by, by, by right thinking folks. Say right thinking folk. Right -thinking. Not all human beings in the world act upon emotion and personal desires. Say amen. Some move by faith. Some are rational and controlled and governed by a higher purpose than that of the Holy Ghost. One was uh, go, uh, 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 a man by the name of Gamaliel. Somebody say amen. amen. He was a Jewish teacher. Say amen. Yeah, yeah. He saw something that the others didn't see. First, he, see, he said God's will and plan can be seen in the world events around us. Yeah. Say amen. amen. He said why? What is not of God's will? Say amen. We'll come to nothing. That's what he's saying. So what you fretting about? What you trying to destroy? Why you trying to fight? Because if it's not of God, say amen. It's going to come to nothing. Yeah, you got to see something here. Amen. If the message and the work of Jesus movement are the ideas of deceivers that have come to nothing. If it's of a, of a revolutionary, it's a come to nothing. If it's of self-seekers, it'll come to nothing. If it's of the insane, it'll come to nothing. If it's of the foolish, it'll come to nothing. If it's of the power hungry, it'll come to nothing. If it's of the political motivated tell somebody it'll come to nothing they will be frustrated and exposed by God himself God will not let any idea a work of movement stand forever that is not of him God has the led word. So Gamaliel was correct. Anything and everything that is not of God will be doomed. Yes. Say amen. amen. Evil ideals and evil works, uh, evil deceivers and, and evil seekers uh, will be destroyed. You don't have to fight. God will bring it down. Yeah. Evil is sometimes allowed to reign. I want you to catch it. Don't miss this, Matthew. Yeah. Don't y'all waste your time up at night fretting about evildoers. Yeah. Evil is sometimes allowed to reign in order to awaken mankind and humans to their need to, for God and his deliverance. Say amen. What uh, is it of God cannot be overthrown. Say God cannot be overthrown. His church cannot be overthrown. His vision cannot be overthrown. Say amen. But this is eternal maximum of a rule. God will and work cannot be overthrown. Totally or finally the world may try 
and may achieve what appears to be temporary success. But God's causes the spark of life of his word to, to catch on fire in the hearts of, of someone else. Do I have a witness? But the word is still right. I said the word is still right. I'm by myself right now. The word is still right. I said I feel the word right now. The gates of hell. I said the gates of hell uh, cannot prevail against the lost church. No matter how great uh, a force of evil. It cannot say no matter what launched uh, against the church uh, it cannot stand for the word is uh, that I uh, I say unto you uh, thou art Peter uh, yes sir uh, and not on you the man uh, but upon the truth you speak uh, I will build my church uh, yeah uh, and the gates of hell may rage uh, they raise their ugliness uh, but it cannot not overcome it. Uh, this was the advice uh, of this man. Uh, Say man. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you're not of God, uh, it won't stand. Uh, it'll soon uh, disappear off the scene. Uh, Say man. Uh, if you're not of God, uh, come on, help me here. Uh, all the forces uh, of the world uh, cannot overthrow them. Uh, you'll be found fighting against. God himself uh, say man uh, and finally uh, I say finally uh, bless the Lord my soul uh, bless the Lord oh my soul uh, praise uh, his holy name uh, I say praise his holy name uh, the council of greed uh, and beat the apostles uh, they scourged him uh, yes they did uh, and they told him don't preach his name no more uh, don't mention his name Yes, sir. And they agreed to let him go. Yeah. Don't tell them. And they told them. Don't y'all dare. The priest in the name of Jesus no more. Yes, sir. But notice what happened. Yeah. The men who oppress this Jesus. I heard. I said, I heard. I had Rachel. The same apostles. Yes, sir. We can't help but preach the name of Jesus. They went on back in the streets and proclaimed Jesus. Get up for you out of your dungeons and proclaim Jesus. Yeah. They may snatch the voting rights out of you, but shout out Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They might discriminate against you, but proclaim Proclaim Jesus. They may fire you from your job, but proclaim Jesus. They may call you a heretic, but proclaim Jesus. Yes, sir. You must stand by yourself, but proclaim Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. You might be on a sick bed, but proclaim Jesus. Don't have a witness up in here. Say yeah. Say yeah, you gotta obey God, and God is able to deliver you through obedience, through hardship. God, I say God, God, stay within the persecution. Hard, a sense of privilege. Yes, sir. God can take darkness and stir light out of it. God, yes, sir. They counted themselves privileged to suffer shame for Jesus. Come on, help me here. God, stir within the heart, persecuted heart, a sense of joy and rejoicing. God, stay within the persecuted heart a sense of courage and mission yes sir they continue daily I gotta stop in the temple teaching preaching yeah despite the opposition they were compelled to share the good news of the gospel yes 
confiança a quem amasse I said, I said, I said, I wasn't gonna tell nobody, but I couldn't, I just couldn't keep it to myself. I sat down, I got back up. Is he all right? Shut all right. Damn, I said, it like fire, show no fire, shut up in my bones, bones, bones. It's burning, so not burning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Proclaim it, shout it, witness it, stand on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I thank you. Yes, Lord. I thank you. Keep us remaining loyal to the witnessing and teaching of the exalted Savior. Thanks for being our Prince and our Savior. Keep us in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Bless our partners across this country and in Africa and in Philippines in particular. Those who've been with us for years in the Philippines, our pastors, our leaders, Pastor Melchin, Pastor Roland, Pastor Mundia, our teachers, Mariam, and other teachers who've grown weary, remain loyal. God will see you through whatever it is. Yes, yes, Pastor Sunday, you're getting ready for a convention in a few months in another part of the country of Liberia. We stand with you, my brother. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. My pastors who to come under this ministry we receive you we receive you as our brothers and sisters praise God for your witness I charge you in the name of Jesus remain loyal to God in this season We'll get it done. We'll get all the work done that God has called all of us to do because, because we're standing on to arm, shoulder to shoulder, knee to knee in prayer. Devil cannot stand against us because we are together. Bless us, Lord. The passage in your gun is waiting for us. Other places, Sierra Leone. The pastor, the one we could teach the congregation on messenger. We're we're working on that, so we can do that also, my brother. God, have heard your cries. He's heard your need, and that's being worked on right now. Praise our God. God, I have one more thing to ask you. Stretch, expand our territory of witness in your name. Supply the resources, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We have big hearts, our hearts are large for the kingdom. We need resources. I think those who have helped us. Praise our God. In a few weeks, less than two weeks, we're heading to the mission field for the 99th time. Thank those who have sowed seeds in this ministry. Rachel, come and ask folks to sow seed and to just do the best you can. I know I caught you off guard.
thank you for joining us tonight and tuning in to get the teaching of truth. And I come to you asking to be of support um, and aid in helping others to receive teachings of truth. Uh, we all have a right to a full life, and that is only given through Jesus Christ. And so support us in bringing Jesus Christ to people who would, without us, not know of him. Who without us would not have access to education, to a church home. Uh, we have churches who are currently in homes, but they deserve a building to go to. They be able, deserve to be able to expand with more space. We have orphans. We are supporting as a our bishop is supporting and us as a church over 40 orphans right now alone and so with your help we can do that and much more and so we are asking and we're pleading uh, not for our own good but for the good of those who do not have a voice that you would please sow into this ministry who has been working to save lives for 30 plus years as Bishop said this is our 90 his 99th trip and so that is only with the help of partners that we've had for years that have been loyal to God and loyal to the vision of this ministry. And so we are um, welcoming new partners. Those of you who have tuned in every week, twice a week, where Bishop ministers in truth, we're asking that you would sow a seed of encouragement to those who are in need. So we're thanking God in advance for your heart. We're thanking God in advance for the children that you're going to help save. And we're thanking God in advance for the blessings he's going to give back to you for being a blessing to others. Amen. You can go on our website and you'll see the methods of you give through PayPal or Givelify. And you can locate CAB Outreach International Ministries. And or you can go, uh, if you prefer, you can write a check. Send the P.O. Box 11538, Alexandria, Virginia, Alexand Alexandria, Virginia, 22312. Again, Post Office Box 11538, Alexandria, Virginia. Those three methods in order to get to where it need to be. Thank you for those who have been giving and giving. I said we planted three churches during pandemic and we've helped to uh, build another church during pandemic and we took on the chore of uh, these orphans during the pandemic and to build an elementary school. Uh, so we never stopped. The pandemic did not stop us. And it has been a, a faith walk. But you know what? I'm determined to remain loyal to God. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday morning.